In this video, I'm going to be discussing the shutdown rule. So when should a firm shut down? Now, in terms of the diagram, I didn't really feel it was necessary. That's why I'm just going to explain it because it's quite simple. Well, firstly, we need to differentiate between two types of costs, variable costs and fixed costs. Now, fixed costs are costs which are independent um, to the amount of production. So whether you produce zero units or you produce 100 or 50, no matter how much you produce, you will always pay these costs. They're like premises, machinery, and so on, wages. You will just always, um, maybe not wages so much, they're semi-variable. Um, you will just always pay for these fixed costs. So that means that a firm cannot determine whether it's better off shutting down because of these, because if it shuts down, it gets rid of production and basically you'd still have to pay the fixed costs. So there's no sort of working out to do there. So a firm solely bases its shutdown point according to the variable costs, because variable costs are costs which are dependent upon output. So the cost of raw materials will depend upon how much um, uh, production you do and there are examples I just can't think of right now so that's what variable costs are dependent on and for that reason a firm needs to work out if its total revenue is greater than its total variable cost because then it can cover that and keep on producing so even if it's making a loss to do the fixed cost it can push the fixed cost later like pay the rent a couple of months later it can push them aside because they're not to do production it can still produce but if um its revenue, total revenues exceed the total variable cost, then that's fine. They should keep on staying in business. However, any point below the average variable cost, it means it cannot even pay for raw materials. And therefore, it is better off shutting down than producing. So that's how you work out. You do the maths with the um, different formulas for average revenue with the price times quantity and so on. Um, the reason why I didn't do a diagram is because all you need to show in the diagram, you'll be all you need to do is if you have your average cost like this, you just parallel under it, you draw one average variable cost and any point below the average variable cost, you know it's shut down and any point above it, you know you keep it there and you know the explanation. Thank you for watching. Please visit my blog.